NASA has paused science activities for the Hubble Space Telescope after one of its three gyroscopes sent faulty readings back to Earth. This critical issue has thrust Hubble into safe mode, suspending its gaze into the cosmos and halting its scientific observations. The gyroscope's malfunction presents a significant challenge, not just in terms of immediate repairs, but for the long-term operational strategy of this iconic observatory. In this video, we will discuss the impact of this malfunction, explore NASA's tactical response, and consider what the future holds for Hubble as we navigate these complex technical challenges. Gyroscopes are not just minor components. They are fundamental to the telescope's ability to orient itself in the vast emptiness of space. This malfunction forced Hubble into a protective mode, pausing all scientific observations. The importance of gyroscopes to Hubble cannot be overstated. They measure the rate of rotation and ensure the telescope can maintain its position to focus on astronomical targets. This precision is crucial for the deep space observations that have led to some of the most groundbreaking astronomical discoveries of the last three decades, from confirming the existence of dark energy to capturing the earliest galaxies in the universe. When Hubble's gyroscope sends faulty signals, it risks pointing in the wrong direction, drastically affecting the accuracy of its scientific instruments and the reliability of its data. This isn't the first time Hubble has faced such a predicament. Similar issues occurred back in November 2023, indicating a recurring problem that poses significant challenges to mission continuity and data integrity. The current gyroscope issue illuminates the broader challenge of maintaining aging space infrastructure as Hubble has far exceeded its expected lifespan. The gyroscopes, upgraded last during the fifth and final servicing mission in 2009, are wearing out. Despite their robust design, the harsh conditions of space exert a relentless toll on even the most durable technologies. NASA engineers are engaged in a complex troubleshooting process. Their first step involves switching to backup gyroscopes, assessing the malfunctioning unit's behavior, and attempting recalibrations. Each of these steps must be performed delicately to avoid exacerbating the issue, considering the limited opportunities for physical intervention given the cessation of the Space Shuttle program. NASA's ability to potentially operate Hubble with fewer gyroscopes, even just one, showcases an incredible feat of engineering foresight and flexibility, as it can operate despite the current hardware failures. NASA's strategic response involves a blend of immediate troubleshooting and long-term adaptive strategies to ensure Hubble can continue its mission. The agency's approach is multifaceted, focusing first on understanding the extent of the issue with the problematic gyroscope. This involves detailed diagnostics to ascertain whether the issue is software-related, which could potentially be corrected via remote updates, or if it stems from a more serious mechanical failure. In parallel to diagnostics, NASA has initiated contingency procedures that may include switching to backup gyroscopes. These backups, though not in constant use, are maintained in a ready state to take over whenever a primary gyroscope fails. This switch is not straightforward. It requires a series of precise maneuvers and recalibrations to ensure that the telescope's orientation and stability meet the exacting standards needed for scientific observation. This strategy is reminiscent of the 2009 servicing mission when astronauts replaced all six of Hubble's gyroscopes, three of which are currently operational. The decision to operate with fewer gyroscopes is not taken lightly. It requires a careful balance between maintaining enough operational capacity to continue valuable scientific work and conserving the remaining gyroscopes for future use. This approach demonstrates NASA's ability to adapt to changing conditions, a crucial skill for managing aging space assets. Moreover, operating Hubble with a reduced number of gyroscopes does not merely solve an immediate problem. It serves as a real-time experiment in resource management and technological adaptability. NASA's long-term planning also includes potential updates to Hubble's operational software to accommodate reduced gyroscopic input, ensuring that the telescope can still perform scientifically valuable observations under new constraints. This adaptive software approach allows Hubble to continue its mission, 
focusing on less demanding observational programs that require less precision in pointing. NASA is preparing for the future decommissioning of the Hubble telescope. They are discussing plans for safe deorbiting or boosting it to a higher orbit to extend its life. This is crucial to avoid space debris hazards and ensure a seamless transition to newer observatories like James Webb. NASA's approach combines technical expertise, strategic foresight, and innovative problem solving, addressing the current crisis and paving the way for future missions. The experience with Hubble's gyroscope issues offers critical lessons for similar challenges faced by other observatories like the Chandra X-ray Observatory. Chandra, like Hubble, has faced significant challenges related to budget constraints and operational issues, particularly with thermal control systems that require active management to keep the telescope functioning properly. The innovative solutions developed to manage these problems provide a template for handling similar issues with Hubble. For instance, the strategies used to manage thermal stresses and electronic overheating on Chandra can inform the approaches to managing any temperature-related issues on Hubble, should they arise from the gyroscope malfunction. While Hubble has been a cornerstone of visible light astronomy, Chandra's insights into the X-ray universe are equally invaluable. The potential decommissioning of Chandra, without a ready successor, underscores the critical gap that would be left in our astronomical capabilities. Similarly, Ensuring Hubble's continued operation until a successor can fully take over its role is imperative for maintaining continuous scientific output. Looking forward, the strategic planning for Hubble involves not just technical adaptations to extend its operational life, but also integrating it into a broader network of space-based observatories. This networked approach will ensure that the legacy of Hubble's contributions continues through other missions, maintaining America's leadership in space exploration and the continuous advancement of our understanding of the cosmos. In conclusion, the path forward for Hubble amid its current challenges is paved with opportunities for innovation, strategic foresight, and collaborative exploration. By learning from each issue, adapting with creative solutions, and planning for the future, we ensure that the journey of discovery that Hubble has so brilliantly charted for over three decades continues to inspire and inform future generations of astronomers and space enthusiasts. Thank you for joining us in exploring how the Hubble recent gyroscope issue underscores the vulnerabilities of space tech and the resilience of mission teams. We'll continue to depend on Hubble for cosmic secrets, and these lessons will shape future missions. Join us next time as we eagerly anticipate the next stellar discovery.